some of you may have heard about uh, optional uh, named and default parameter concepts in C sharp and um, which is out of which default parameter concept is there in C++ and uh, uh, optional parameter concept that uh, uh, is there in a case of C sharp uh, then there is a named parameter concept that we have. So in TypeScript what we need to understand is simple uh, optional parameters and uh, default parameter concept. So one more time what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file here. So let's create a new file. Let's call it as 02demo.ts. And now what we need to do is define a simple function. Let's say function which will have simple print details as in name. And what I expect here is parameter like id which is of type number. I'm expecting a name which is of type string and I expect the address which is also of type string and what this function does is this function simply uh, maybe returns void you can return string if you want and then somewhere it logs down contained like id plus name plus address now here if I call for print details function and if I pass on the parameters look at the parameters expected is going to be ID name and address so I'll pass on one I'll pass on Sachin I'll pass on Mumbai as expected parameters and then what we'll do is we will try to convert this code into JavaScript code so let's go to terminal TSC is going to be 0 to demo TS and then let's try to run it. So it prints one Sachin and Mumbai as in the value. So what if I don't have let's say address with me. In this case if I don't pass on the address if I don't have it. What happens is the zigzag line here itself it will tell you in TS that is the expected third parameter is something that you are not passing. What will happen if I try to transpile this content one more time? So now being uh, what we call it as strictly typed here it says the argument for address was not provided. So ideally I should have provided here something maybe empty maybe null maybe undefined something I should provide and then maybe I can just leave it to the logic of print details that is uh, it should check whether it is undefined, it should check whether it is empty or not. But then not providing a value is not an option for me over here. In case we want address passing to be optional, in that case what one can do is, one can very well put here something like address and we can put a question mark. Now putting question mark here, it means it's an optional parameter now, which means if you if you, if, you, if you don't have the value or if you don't wish, wish to pass on, you're free to use the compulsory parameters then. So compulsory is ID, compulsory is name, address is optional for me. So now what will happen if I try to transpile this content into JavaScript? So let me convert this. This gets transpiled. There was a problem some time back. And now I'll try to run this code. You will find out one such in and undefined is what we get. So I did not pass undefined but since I mentioned in my code that address is un uh, address is optional it is by default taken as undefined in this case. So now what if I'm not interested in passing something like you know undefined over here. I'm not passing it anyway it is picked up automatically but can I provide some sort of default value to the address. One obvious thing that we have is we can very well check here itself if address is undefined then maybe we can provide some hard coded value or we can that way just print id and name only and if address is not undefined then we can very well have a concatenation of all these three but then for that i have to end up typing something like maybe uh, if else statements i don't want to if at all some default address you already have maybe it is blank in that case what you can plan to do is you can very well assign now this, if this is optional 
what you can plan to do is I'll copy I'll paste it here and instead of I mentioning this as an optional parameter I'll define this as a default parameter which means I just have mentioned here that is address is going to be of type string and I want a default value to be given let's say Pune so what happens now is if you don't pass me value like one and such in address is not passed instead of address taken as undefined now address will be taken as Pune and that will be used in your application so let's see what happens now one more time let's try to use TSC let's use node and now look at it it prints one Sachin and Pune on the console so if we go back and if we observe what it has done behind the scene in demo2.js you will find out it has actually added some sort of e fails by itself so we did not add any e fail statement but it itself has done that kind of you can say comparison that if address is not passed ultimately comparison with void then address should be taken as Pune and then we should print all the values on the console a so simple JavaScript conversion is what is done based on my simple code that is string or address string equal to Pune now in case suppose you pass on the value then what will happen so suppose if I pass on here Mumbai as in a value now what will happen let's try this so one more time I'll go to console I'll convert TS into JS and now we'll run it now you'll find out it prints one Sachin and Mumbai so if you pass the value we'll accept the value as it is if you don't pass the value we'll expect or we will use the default value so this is like default parameters are working as good as optional parameters when you try to specify those default parameters towards the end of or after defining all compulsory parameters so there's no nothing like you know you can't specify name as a uh, uh, or optional parameter you can specify all optional parameters that you want but ensure all optional parameters of a function are defined after compulsory parameters so whatever compulsory you expect after that you can you know towards the end of the function uh, parameter declarations and definitions what you can do is you can very well define optional parameters and default parameters actually becomes optional if at all you define it towards the end that way so it's a very nice feature of uh, TypeScript which will help you generate the JavaScript based on top of e loop.